In this episode, I fly from Shoreham to Biggin Hill in marginal conditions and take a closer look at a frighteningly close near miss near Beachy Head. Oh. I speak to the trainee pilot who was having a lesson at the time. That was bloody dangerous. We had a nice lunch at Shoreham Airport, said hello to Martin in the tower, and a flying reporter fan even came to say hello. We're now about to depart VFR back to Biggin Hill. So there's some noise abatement here. It's uh, climbed to 600 feet before turning, and they want a 20, sorry, 10 degree right turn at the railway line. All clear. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 20, clear for takeoff, surface wind 24012 knots. Clear for takeoff 20, Golf Oscar Romeo. Okay, you ready to go? Yes. T's and P's are all good. Slight right crosswind. November's crosswind uh, 20 for landing 24. November, November, report final. S P's alive, T's and P's are in the green. Rolling runway 20. Uh, two zero traffic and uh, call final two four November November. Loads of room, look. Yeah. So a ten degree right turn. Something crosswind. T's and P's are okay. Oh my god, left turn. November, November, it's clear to land 24, surface wind 24012 knots. Land 24, November, November. Copos Romeo, five miles to the east, uh, would like to change to Farmer radar 123 decimal 225. Oscar Romeo, Roger, Squawk 7000, have a good flight, bye bye. Squawk 7000, cheerio, thanks, Golf Oscar Romeo. Radar, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, request basic service. Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, Farm Radar, pass your message. Good afternoon, Golf Bravo Hotel, Oscar Romeo, PA28, Shoreham to Biggin Hill, VFR. Currently seven miles to the west of Sierra Foxtrot Delta. Routing Sierra Foxtrot Delta, Buell Water and Seven Oaks, request basic service. Golf Oscar Romeo, Roger, there's traffic at Seaford, northwest bound on the coast, indicating 1,800 feet. The farmer QNH, sorry, London QNH 1023, basic service, squawk 1734. Traffic not sighted, 1023, London QNH, and uh, squawk 1734, Golf Oscar Romeo, basic service. Uh, hello, traffic. Thanks, mate. This is a busy bit of airspace. The coastline between Brighton and Eastbourne is a magnet for sightseers and trainee pilots. Also traffic arriving from the continent often coasts in along here. You can have all the technical wizardry in your cockpit, but your eyes are the only real way of avoiding conflict in uncontrolled airspace. Last week, the Airprox board published its findings on this troubling near miss near Eastbourne. A microlight student practicing stalls with his instructor narrowly avoided a head on collision with a fast moving jet. Oh. That was bloody dangerous. The separation between the two aircraft narrowed to just one tenth of a mile horizontally and less than a hundred feet vertically. The student 
Tom McNicholas is a follower of my channel, and I asked him to tell me the story. Well, basically, we went up for a training flight um, to teach about stall awareness and how to mm -hmm. recover from stalls. I just finished from recovering from a stall, so I passed control on over to my instructor, and he was demonstrating how a little bit of rudder can be used to slightly roll the aircraft. So I was looking down, wasn't looking out the window, just because he was showing me how to do this. And luckily at the time, he um, obviously was looking out the window and out of nowhere grabbed a stick and threw us to the right. So I was wondering what happened. Cause this wasn't the manoeuvre he said he was going to show me. <laughs> and uh, yeah. and, um, and I looked up out the window and just seen this jet flying straight at us. We don't have to whack the control column right or left. We can just use a little bit of rudder. Bloody dangerous. By the time it was next to us, as we had just turned, he was extremely close to us. Like you could make out the whole jet and everything, and then obviously it flew on by, shook me up a bit. So then my instructor reported an air prox in the air, and then we carried on with the lesson. And you know, it. I was looking out for traffic for the rest of the lesson, I'll tell you that anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you were. Yeah. I just couldn't believe that we got that close. You know, I was a bit sort of like, never seen this before. It's extraordinary how lightning fast his reactions were. Oh, it's how we spotted it. I did not know. It was literally seconds before we even caught a glimpse of it. Well, before my instructor caught a glimpse of him. And then he had a split second to react. Imagine if your instructor had been looking down at that split second, because it would have been just a split from, second. From my opinion, we definitely would have hit him. Mm. We, there was no two ways about it. The air prox raises some really interesting issues. I'll put the link to the official report in this video's description. A fuller interview with Tom can be found on my Facebook page. What I take away from the incident is that in Class G airspace, expect to see anything, anywhere, at any speed. Back to our flight now to Biggin Hill, and the weather today isn't great. Looks a bit uh, crap up here. Uh, our minimums here are 1,600 feet to Bizru, so we could go down to 1,600. which we may have to do. Regular viewers will know that when my son Bertie flies with me, he usually entertains viewers with a joke or two. So, so in, um, in Bertie's absence, we need a joke of flight, obviously. You go on, did you prepare? So I've got, uh, yeah, I've got it. it's pretty bad. It's, uh, two, two elephants and a snake fall out of a tree. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Very good. It stops there. <laughs> did you did you like Bertie's jokes? Yes, I thought that's a good that's a good feature. I think yeah. He's always telling me jokes, Bertie. Yeah. All right. Look, it's gone a bit cloudy here. Look. So this leg we could be 1,600 feet. So let's come down and touch them. Sixteen hundred is my minimum. Without having an IMC rating, would what, what would you think about this kind of weather right now? What would this marginal? Um, marginal. Yeah. Would you fly it? I, I don't think so. No. Uh, I'd, I'd want to stay more local and uh, at a lower altitude as well. Yeah. But so we're just approaching Buell Water now, which. Uh, we circled above, earlier on, above the clouds. Even though we're in the days of Sky Demon and other navigation apps, where everything is available at the touch of a screen, I still use paper in the cockpit. So this is my COM nav sheet, which has got, which is populated with pretty much every frequency that I might ever need, uh, along with the navigation aids as well. I've got the runway lengths, and my performance figures for today. 
And I've got a little sh section here with um, any noise abatement procedures or arrival procedures. And then I've got my plug on my knee pad here, just a normal plug, which is made out of a spreadsheet. And you can download these off my website, actually. So um, if this looks like something you could use or adapt to use for yourself, then download it and uh, make use of it. Golf Oscar Romeo, 11 miles east of Biggin Hill, would like to change to Biggin Approach, 129 at decimal 4. Is that Golf Oscar Romeo? Hey firm. Golf Oscar Romeo, Scork 7000, free call Biggin, bye bye. 7000 over to Biggin, thanks Golf Oscar Romeo. Juliet November, passing 7, over to the beam, over. So to go off to Juliet November, the service now terminates with Biggin. You're going to speak to Rochester Direct or via Farm Bilars East? Uh, Rochester Direct, I think, over. What's your free call? 12225, bye bye. 12225, Juliet November, thank you for your help. Right, Yankee Sierra for radar, turn right, heading 110 degrees. 110 degrees for radar, November, uh, correction, Mike Lee Mac, Yankee Sierra. Big an approach, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo inbound. Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, big an approach, number one, I'll call you back very shortly. My Yankee Sierra, contact Tim's radar, 128 decimal 025, bye bye. 128 025, bye bye, Yankee Sierra. Golf Bravo Oscar, sorry, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, big an approach, pass your message. Good afternoon, Golf Bravo Hotel Oscar Romeo, PA28 inbound from Shoreham. Uh, we are nine miles to the east with the uh, Sierra QNH 1024, uh, 2,000 feet, request rejoin, request join. Golf Oscar Romeo, report at three miles to run to the east of the field for runway 21 right-hand circuit. Threshold QFE is 1005. Report three miles east of the field for runway 21 right-hand circuit, QFE 1005, Golf Oscar Romeo. Uh, route, try and avoid some of these little villages. Keep the neighbours happy. Yeah. Golf Oscar Romeo, three miles dead side. Golf Oscar Romeo, report downwind right hand to runway 21. You're following a Cherokee currently crosswind. Report downwind right hand 21, following a Cherokee. Golf Oscar Romeo. Crosswind, wasn't it? Yes. Golf Dota Victor, report final number one. I don't I see, can't see the one traffic one at the moment. Golf, 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 golf. We should be able to see him, shouldn't we? Yeah. Yeah, uh, one o'clock, two o'clock. Roger, thanks. He's quite wide, out wide, out wide, isn't he? I thought that myself, yeah. Not, I don't know particularly what the... Uh, well, the turning point the just coming up. ...is around here, we'll work to avoid or not. Yeah, it's normally about here. Golf Oscar Romeo, downwind 2-1, right hand to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, report final number 2, you're following the Cherokee right base. Report final number 2, traffic in sight, Golf Oscar Romeo. Brakes under carriage, mixture is rich, car peat. Fuel is on, we've got enough fuel for going around. Pumps on, landing lights are on, we're all strapped in. And we're awaiting clearance. He's really wide. Uh, Golf Oscar Romeo, would you like me to extend slightly or um, orbit here? Just need a bit of spacing. Uh, you can take uh, whichever way you wish. I'll uh, take up one left hand orbit here, Golf Oscar Romeo. Roger. He's a bit wide. He's, he flew a very wide and long circuit, didn't he? It was. I thought we'd get in, but then he went out Golf, quite Golf, a long Golf, way Golf, too. On final touch, ready for touch and go. Golf, uh, Delta Victor, runway 21, clear touch and go, wind is 2505 knots. Golf, Golf, Delta Victor, clear touch and go for runway 21. Golf Oscar Romeo, uh, ready to turn base. Golf Oscar 
Romeo ready to report to final uh, number two. Report final number two, Golf Oscar Romeo. He's touch and go anyway, so... So the wind is from the west, from the right, so it's going to take us along quite a bit here. Yeah. Well, I like Roger. I'm quite tight in, actually. That orbit's put you there, isn't it? Yeah, probably. Uh, it's not a big deal. I can get down. Should be all right. Long enough runway. <laughs> so I've got a bit, bit of momentum with the wind here. Around now. Oh, lost a bit of speed there. Got, got almost three times the length of uh, Red Hill here. Our peak is off, 500 feet. Get our speed sorted. Golf Oscar Romeo, final 2 1 to land. Golf Oscar Romeo, runway 2 1 clear to land. The wind 2 4 0 9 knots. Clear to land, Golf Oscar Romeo. Request taxi, self fuel. Come on, Scrooge, taxi approved. Taxi approved, come on, Scrooge. Thank you, Simon. That was nice having you aboard. Well, thank you for the invite. Thanks for taking me. Pleasure. It's always good flying with other pilots, regardless of your or their experience. I think it's fair to say that both Simon and I learnt a bit from each other on this short return trip. Please tell your friends about the channel. The more you can spread the word, the better. See you all soon. I'm going to have to go home and um, cook dinner now. I don't think my um, husband was particularly pleased about me going flying today. <laughs> Leaving him with the little one. The worst mistake I made was when we moved house. Yeah, I, I went flying. On the day of moving yeah. house? Left, left there to move house. <gasps> no way! <laughs> That's awful, Simon.